We're out here at a project that's mid-construction. So we've completed all the insulation details, air sealing details, all the local exhaust and kitchens and bathrooms, and we have the mechanical system roughed in. The homeowner was interested in building a high performance, comfortable home. Uh, she talked about net zero. That was in indicated in one of the initial discussions. We guided her through um, the exercise of doing an energy model um, for the home to kind of draw out uh, the performance specs of the home, like how are you constructing the shell, um, how, what's the wall dimensions, how are you going to um, uh, insulate the house, what types of windows are you installing, and then we get into some of the discussions around the mechanicals and kind of highlight what you need to be thinking about in terms of sizing and the different types of equipment on the market that match a high performance envelope. Now we're inside the house and as you can see there are a lot of different combinations of insulation products here. Uh, we have a blown in cellulose in the wall cavity and then an open cell spray foam in the roof. And this is a great uh, strategy for staying in a budget. Uh, it's uh, more affordable than say spray foaming the entire envelope and some people don't like having that much spray foam in their home so this is a great alternative. And uh, E3 is here today sealing up all of the minor cracks and crevices around windows and framing uh, that just help ensure a really tight envelope. And this is the exterior compressor uh, that's going to heat and cool uh, this home. Again, Mitsubishi mini split compressor. Um, this is the hyperheat unit. And again, it's been designed to meet the heating and cooling needs of all three floors through one system. This thing operates almost silently and somewhat like a dimmer switch. It's a variable speed compressor, so it ramps up and increases capacity when it senses through the thermostats a need for more cooling or more heating, and it scrolls down when those heating or cooling requirements are less. So again, ramps up, ramps down to meet the needs of the house, somewhat like a dimmer switch. Um, extremely efficient and very quiet. We've taken all those elements and we've created a tight mechanical design and we've ensured that we have good ventilation. So we've looked at all three bathrooms. We have the Panasonic uh, Whisper Green Select bathroom fans to help manage odors, moisture out of all the local uh, exhaust points. Then we've also added two uh, wall ports down here at the base of the white sheathing. And that is the intake of fresh air and the exhaust of stale air out of the home. And that is an ERV, an energy recovery ventilator. And that will run continuously and we'll dial in the flow of outside fresh air, draw fresh air in, it's going to filter the air, it's going to have a heat exchanger in there that transitions some of the heat and energy, and then you'll again have a continuous exhaust of stale air. So again, like I mentioned, we need to ensure that we have good local exhaust. So here, for example, is the Panasonic Whisper Green Select fan. Um, it's going to be exhausted with hard pipe through the rim band. And then over in here is the master suite. And you can see that we've added some sound attenuation here on an interior wall where the bed will be. But this is the master bedroom. And you can tell the homeowners enjoyed uh, coming in here and checking out the space before drywall. But drywall is going in here momentarily. So down here, of course, is the full basement. And we're going to show you some of the mechanicals and uh, the guts of the house. So here on the other side of this wall is the uh, mini split compressor and we have three refrigerant lines that come into the interior of the home to serve three zones. Here is our first zone, which is a simple wall unit that serves the basement. And here is our more traditionally shaped high static pressure air handler for the second floor, the main level. And of course we have a good pure air filter box on the intake air, then the air is obviously heated or cooled and distributed into the house. Above you is the dehumidifier that we've installed to manage humidity that comes in through the concrete and through the exterior walls. And over here, one of the more interesting things is our fresh air system for the home. So this is the ERV that we talked about outside that had the exterior ports, one for intake of fresh air and one for the exhaust. And you can open that up and you can see the heat exchanger inside. This is the heat exchanger. And here are the filters for the incoming air. And you have two fans. And again, that you're able to actually adjust the fan speed of the incoming and outgoing air streams and then balance those like we mentioned at the end. Again, this is a whole house fresh air ventilation system. And then over here is a Rheem heat pump water heater, which is really exciting. That's gonna be placed over here, installed to provide hot water for the home. 
and it's going to use some of the uh, heat, the consistent temperature of this basement um, to um, transition that heat over down into the, the hot water tank. So that's a really efficient system. It's going to um, serve the homeowner well, and it's all electric, so we don't have any combustion safety issues as well. So you've seen the inside, you've seen the guts, and they're gonna move forward now with drywall. So again, everything will be sheathed in drywall, and then the builder will move forward with cabinets and the rest of construction. What we'll end up doing is coming back at the end of construction, testing um, with the diagnostic equipment that we have, the leakage of the shell, and the leakage of the duct systems and to ensure um, that the local exhaust, the bathrooms and the kitchen are working properly and that the fresh air system is balanced and we're working properly. So she's going to have a home that probably has a sc her score somewhere I would anticipate like in the 40s, somewhere in that range, which is extremely good. And uh, that score again goes from zero up to 100. So a score down in the 30s and 40s is extremely good. And again, like we said, we're anticipating leakage rates of around one air change per hour, which is extremely tight. So again, highlights the need for fresh air, highlights the need for thinking all this stuff through as a system so that you and you can meet the demands of comfort and indoor air quality of the clients. Yeah, really exciting. We love seeing projects from beginning to end. So if you're building a custom home in 2021 or you're looking to solve some home performance issue with your current existing home, give me a call today and we will sit down and talk through the strategies of how to work with E3 and how we can best help you solve your problems and a comfortable, healthy, energy-efficient home for the rest of the year and into the future.